The final group of this World Cup is, of course, Group H. Jeremy, tell me about Portugal. Surely this is the last World Cup for now for Cristiano Ronaldo. You'd think so. I'm not sure how many outfield players have got to a World Cup at 41. Anyway, if, okay, he's 37 this time, but you, one would think so. Although if anyone could do it, I think so if you look at him physically, it is perhaps Ronaldo. But yes, one would think so. And a bit like with Messi, he'll be desperate to end the career in, in what would be the perfect way. Is he still their main man? He is and he isn't. I think he, he, he obviously is in persona and fame and all the rest of it. But increasingly, it's a Portugal team that's a very strong squad. Lots of, as we know, lots of players that are based in England, particularly pockets of uh, the Manchester clubs. They've got lots of greater depth than certainly in the last few tournaments with Ronaldo. So it'll be interesting to see how that dynamic works. I think that's always really interesting because it was very clear cut before. He's the main man. Everything revolves around Ronaldo. Whereas this time you wonder how he'll deal with the fact that he's one of six or seven stars really in in the squad and also how they operate that from a coaching and a team selection point of view because clearly you would think you might want to use him a little bit more sparingly. The days where he'll just play every single minute are probably gone. So that would be really interesting to see how that, that chemistry around the squad works as well. Moving on to Ghana, is there some involvement from Chris Hewton? Yes, he's got a job there earlier this year as technical advisor. Apparently he's made a really big impression, sort of supporting the manager, helping a bit with structure also of the team and also off-field logistics and organisation as well. His father was actually from Ghana as well. Uh, so there's a, there's a personal history for Chris Hewton. And Chris is also keen, it would seem, to get back into management, perhaps back in England after the World Cup. But obviously be interesting to see him out there on the on the bench. Hell of a shop window for him. How about Uruguay? Is it still Luis Suarez and Cavani spearheading their attack? They're both still in good form. Suarez just recently scored two goals for Nacional where they won the Uruguayan League. He's 35 now. I think Cavani's 35 as well, so combined age of 70. Cavani's doing well at Valencia this season. So both still in good form. The the talk in Uruguay is that it's probably not so effective to play the two of them together anymore, but still both scoring regularly for their club sides, albeit at a, not at the absolute top level that they, they were at. And South Korea's is a very familiar flag to us from our World Cup war charts. They always seem to be in these tournaments. Is this the year, 20 years on, when they mirror their achievements from the tournament they hosted in 2002? Yeah, they got to the, amazing what they, to think what they did in 2002 under under Hiddink, and it's the 10th consecutive World Cup that they've reached, which pop, it, it's, it's a slight commentary on the, um, the teams that they have to go up against in qualifying. And that's, in a way, that's, it's a blessing and a curse for them because they don't play regularly against the really top South American or European teams. So it's when they get to a World Cup or play against a really top team, it's more difficult for them. Obviously, they've got a world cast player in Son that we know lots about in England. But beyond that, you wonder whether there's quite the depth to progress any further. They played Brazil in a friendly uh, recently and lost 5-1, which probably shows the level they might be at compared to the very top teams. So my predictions for Group H, I think Portugal will go through as group winners. Then I think it's between Uruguay and Ghana for the second spot. And I think Ghana might just upset the form book and, and get through. Uruguay are ranked in the top 15 still in the world, but I think their, their era of success might just be coming to an end.